All right, so today we got to look at this video that I think is an actual unjustified shooting by police. And it's funny that, that I haven't been seeing much news coverage from the mainstream the mainstream media news covering this shooting. I've I seen, like, seen a Young Turks cover it, and I've seen a couple of other independent or kind of independent news news people cover it. The Young Turks side... I think it's horrible, <laughs> but they they at least did cover this because like it does fit their agenda. Um, but I think people on the right also should call police out when they do stuff that that's unethical and criminal in my in my opinion. So like I I'll defend the police when they do stuff that I think is right, but I'm also going to call them out and criticize police when I when they do stuff that I don't think is right. And this is one of those situations where. What they did in my eyes is criminal and they should be called out and condemned for it. Not police as a whole, but these individuals that did this to this to this guy. So basically, it, I don't know the context from why the police was called there. But in the video, you can see a guy in like a, a camping trailer, um, like a, 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 a trailer camper home. And he the cops is outside and they're telling him to come outside. It looks like he just woke up out of his sleep. So the cop, so he wake up out of his sleep and the cops are t is telling him to come outside with his hands up and he don't have a gun. He goes outside, put his hands up and the cops shoot him for no reason. Apparently. Um, may maybe, I don't know what the hell, what kind of call they got, but I don't think this was in any way justified. These cops should be, brought up on criminal charges in my opinion now hopefully youtube don't get upset by me showing us i think they i think they blurred out the actual wounds uh, but he, he do they do show him getting shot um so maybe i'll maybe i'll pause it right before he gets shot but you'll get the 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 idea of of him actually waking up in the cops um, right before the cops shoot him. So let's let's check this out right now. What's going on? Oh. Hello? I don't know. What did you do? Come outside, Jason. Step outside the door onto the deck and show us your hand. Jason, we just want to talk to you. Come outside. Oh, yeah. What? All right, so you see his hands is up, and I pause it right before they start shooting him. I don't want to have any problem with YouTube, even though this video is on YouTube. But YouTube might get mad. I don't. I don't want to create any problems. So I want to. I'm gonna pause it right before they shoot him. But they shoot him right here, and then they're still telling him to come out with his hands up while he's on the ground with bullet holes in him, bleeding out, and that's his wife right there. So and all he he having it he have a flashlight in his hands. I didn't see that before, but he he picked up a flash what looked to be a flashlight before he went out there, and the cops shot him for no reason. Um, and then the, after the cops shot him, they in my opinion they knew that they they was did wrong because when they got in the house they they was like oh shit it's cameras in here look at this. Fuck. Hey, bro, fuck. Hey, camera, camera. There's cameras. So they don't care that they just shot an unarmed man for an uh, a unarmed man at his door with his wife there. They care that it was caught on camera. These cops is a disgrace. So, yeah. They didn't care. They just shot this guy. It don't seem like to me. Uh, let's read a little bit of this article. So right here it says the initial press release. The initial press release alleged that the guy engaged in verbal altercation with officers, then emerged from his trailer and confronted cops, prompting them to open fire on him. That is not what you just saw in that video. I don't maybe... I don't I don't want to give them any any kind of benefit of the doubt because if they if they even thought that they was acting in the right, why did they get surprised? Why did they 
get startled when they saw cameras in the in the trailer. They thought what they did was actually right. Why did they again, why did they they get like that when they saw the cameras? So I don't these cops in my opinion should be brought up on charges. Um the guy did survive, uh thankfully. Uh but he had like he had a a couple shots to his chest, at least one shot in the chest. I think he had multiple he had a shot in his arm, I think, and also a shot in his chest. Um here it says but new but newly released surveillance video from inside the camper appears to tell a different story that challenges officers' narrative. Yes, it does challenge their narrative because their narrative was was to me, it seemed like their narrative was I mean, I know their narratives was lies because he didn't in this in this original press release is, is making it sound like he confronted the cops in like a combative manner and you didn't see any of that in the video so thankfully this guy actually had a camera in his trailer to catch these criminals um in their criminal behavior in the video respondent officers in the video respondent officers are seen uh tossing tossing into the home and robot robotic device oh so they toss something in the home toss in the home robotic or a robotic device equipped with a light oh so so the so the thing that he so the thing that he grabbed when he was going out the door was the cops device that they threw in his house so they they know what it was they don't even they before i was thinking maybe they thought it was a gun but um they knew it they it was their equipment right here in the video respondent officers are seen tossing into the home a robotic device device equipped with the light source uh source and cameras with a light source and cameras which apparently uh woke the guy and his wife up who were asleep in the in the back room so yeah so they were asleep the cops throw this device in there and he he gets up and grab the device and come outside and he gets shot. <laughs> There's no defending what these cops did. And I would hope to see this story on CNN, on Fox News and all the mainstream, uh, all the mainstream news networks. But so far, and this happened a couple of days ago. So far, I haven't seen it on any of them. Here's his, his wounds. So, yeah, he shot in the arm. Looks like it at least one or two shots in his chest. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen this on any of the mainstream news, news networks. And it's crazy that a story like this, especially for like CNN, I don't know why CNN wouldn't talk about this. At least I haven't seen him talk about it. I, uh, I searched the guy name on YouTube and I just seen a couple of independent or kind of independent people talking about it. Uh, but Fox Fox News should be talking about it. All the major conservatives that that I mean, and this is why I don't just back the blue. Like you, you should never just back a a group as a whole. Like the cops do good stuff when they do bad stuff, and they should be called out when they do bad stuff. Never just back the blue. Like the all the all the horrific things cops did throughout history. Like you wouldn't you. It wouldn't be moral to back the blue in Nazi Germany. <laughs> like, no, don't just back the blue. Don't just back authority just because they're authority. That's a big problem that I have with a lot of conservatives is that they, a lot, it's kind of changing more so now, but a lot of them are just back the blue no matter what they do. And stuff like this should not be backed. It should be called out and criticized. So, that's my video. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.